Hi everyone. So today we present you with uh, our weekly technical insight on Vodagem connectization. And today I'm going to cover the topic like um, APS simulation, which is extend period simulation within the Voda distribution network and how we are going to create a pump definition for the network. So before proceeding further, I would uh, like to give a brief intro about our organization. So Capricot is India leading design and construction management technology solution provider for architecture, engineering and construction. So we are one of the Autodesk largest platinum partner and an authorized training center. We have more than 300 dedicated team members and Capricot serve over 20,000 clients in the AEC and related industries. So Capricot actually has contributed significantly to the country's adoption of computer-aided design for more than three decades. And we offer the best solution approaches and practices to increase your productivity and lower your project risk. So let me introduce myself. Hey, my name is Pranjal Verma, Solution Specialist for Water and Wastewater. New Delhi will present you with our weekly technical insight. Okay. So the objective of the today insight is to understand the concept of the extent period simulation within the water gem. So if I if I talk about uh, why it is important, so when the variation of the system attributed over the time is important, and extent period simulation is actually a appropriate way to do within the water gem. So this type of analysis allows you to model the tank filling and drainage demand load changing over time. Uh, if I talk about the changing over time via assigned pattern, regulating walls, opening and closing, and pressure and flow, so it's changing throughout the system in response to varying load contribution and automatic control strategy. And the next, we will like see how we can create a pump definition within the network. So the, we just uh, I'm just going to switch to the software and we will see like how it can be done. So okay. So let's suppose this is my water distribution sample and now we have to design up a network as a 24 by 7 water supply which is generally stand uh, for EPS simulation which is extreme period simulation. So from where we can find it under the component tab we have the option for the patterns it indicates that we are going to create a hydraulic demand pattern if we are going for the hydraulic demand. So there are the different uh, pattern present related to all this hydraulic element so if we want to create the pattern for the wow. hydraulic yes. i'm just going to highlight it and from here you can create the new hydraulic demand pattern once you create it it will create a hydraulic demand pattern under this you want you can also rename it and then at the right window you can see for the pattern here we can set the start time so generally we use it while mid night and what would be your starting multiplier and how much load you want to multiply from the base demand so like i have demanded for the 24 hours hydraulic demand pattern here similarly you can also create a hydraulic demand pattern and create a multiplier if you want to create for hourly and if you want to if you wish to create for the daily factor we can do that also and if you wish to create for the monthly factor we can also do that so this is how we can actually I design our water distribution network for the hydraulic demand pattern or we can say the extend period simulation. So once we do it, we have just created it. Anything in water gem is created, it not completed until we assign it. So after that here, we will go to the demand control center tab. Here, we will see a column for the pattern. From here, we just go to the global edit and whatever the pattern we have just created, we can just select it. So that's, that is how you can actually set your hydraulic demand pattern within your water distribution sample. Next, if we will talk about the like uh, pump definition, how we are creating the pump. So under the layout tab, we have the pump option. So once you having the pump within your water distribution sample, so the next thing that we have to do is we have to create the pump definition. So same under the component tab, we have the pump definition tool. Once we click in it, the dialog box for the pump definition will be created from here we can create a new pump definition so i have already created the two pump as um, in my drawing there are two pump present so two pump definition i have created once we create a pump definition from this new tab here you can see the different input is being to given like if you want to give the pump head we have to give shutoff head and then design flow what would be my design head 
and how much it will be maximum operating with respect to floor. Like if you want, we can give efficiency as well, like BEP flow, which is best efficiency efficiency point flow or best efficiency point. So here we can get efficiency as well. If you require within your network, like uh, NPSH, which is net positive section head, if it is required, we can do that also. And on the motor, how much efficiency is for the motor, we can get that also. So once we create the pump definition, simply just we have to open the property for the pump definition. And from there, we have to assign it for the, the that we have just created from here. Pump definition. So this is how we can actually create the pump definition and assign it. And also earlier, as I told, how we can create a EPS simulation within the network. So I hope you guys had an insightful session. So do subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the updates. We would be delighted to hear from you. So do reach out to us for any suggestions, query or topic you would want to discuss. See you next week with the next insight. Thank you.